No, it's not lagging, like so it should be. Should be. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, the last people you want to piss off is the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger lives day. matter. Shut up. <laughs> it's, it's live now, lads. Cool. <laughs> So, hello there and welcome to the 9 o'clock stream game. Um, tonight we've got uh, a familiar player to the stream at the moment. It's uh, Chris Burnett. Um, he's flying K2SO uh, and he's Ewing, a Blade Squadron veteran, um, Ten Num and Wedge Antilles versus Nicholas God um, with Sirisu, four cartel spacer, um, Interceptors and two mining guild ties. So interesting game tonight. Um, we've seen K two SO in action before, and Chris Burnett. Um, we've actually had uh, both of these guys on stream before. Ah, uh, right. I, I I wasn't commentating for the Nicholas Good one, so I've not actually seen it. Um, I do know, however, somebody else, one of one of the other Sith takers, uh, has flown this before. So. I'm trying to get my stream to work. <laughs> oh, is that little bubble thing new? God damn. The bubble around objects. I've not seen that before. Yeah, that's new. Oh, yeah, nice. I thought you right. were going. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm going to. I'm going to duck out now, guys. Uh, so, uh, good luck. Have fun. Uh, we're all counting. See you later, Dan. It was bye nice to talk to you, mate. Yeah, bye uh, for now, chaps. I'll leave you with uh, Rich and uh, Ben and uh, Urinal. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> you alright, lads? Yeah. yeah, not too bad. So, um, Nick, Nicholas actually top Swiss. No, he's a good yeah. player, Luke. You yeah. say Nick. He's, I, think I can know him. <laughs> I think he made um, cut in all the space jams as well. I'm not sure yes. about the Australia mm. one. Yeah, pretty sure he did. Um, I think I'm he just moved them by mistake. Huh? Oh, I'm going to have to do this on my phone again. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you see the last game, Rich? With um, uh, I saw Ken a bit Bauer. of it. So uh, no, no, I haven't. Is... I haven't seen that one. Um, His yeah. blocking game is very good. Yeah, I didn't. I was just checking tabletop to you. Nicholas made um, cut in Sydney. He went out in top 16. He came sixth in Swiss, uh, went five and two over the course of the day. So Was it the same list again? He's, from what he said to me, he's been flying this for quite a while. Uh, it's scum and villainy, so I guess it's going to be the same list. He's not going to be flying something else. Yeah, it is. It's the same thing. So Ooh, Chris, he's been tearing it up with this. <laughs> Chris told me when I was chatting to him the other day that he actually faced uh, Nicholas in Swiss in one of the Gold Squadron ones and mm. got thoroughly battered. <laughs> he basically lost a ship each turn from what he said. So Oof. hopefully he's uh, learnt something from that game. Didn't I mean, know seven, it that they both got the, on the boards, um, a lot of ships. <laughs> yeah. They've both got the faction-specific damage decks as well there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I have to figure out how to grab those. Oh, like my resistance one in real life. It's the only <laughs> decent swag I've ever won. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gutted about the store champs now. I mean, I really wanted one of them damage decks. Yeah, we'll, we'll get them anyway, though, won't we? Yeah, but you, you've got to be able to win to get one of them. Okay. I mean, my record's pretty good, Will. I've never had to cheat either. <laughs> Do you know, people actually believe I actually cheated as well now. Like, well, I've been did. full on. Yeah. All right. Wait till you make a mistake. You're getting it. Mate, I, I cheated on the Gold Squadron stream. <laughs> That's true, that at Worlds. I put a ship back down wrong. Oh, did you? Yeah. I mean, I lost anyway. I lost against Phil GC. But I put the ship down and then nudged it and then tried to put it back right and it isn't. I didn't put it right. Um, is there anyone in the chat? I have not seen any chat. 
who are in the chat, say hello. So I've um, I've seen Chris fly in a list similar to this before, didn't? And, and I've played against him flying something not this but close. Yeah, and he's got he an interest in. Yeah, he's got an interesting approach where he will crab walk his B wings just up the edge of the board. Um, so I think he's going to just bank them in and then you know barrel roll them. Yeah. Um, and then just crab walk them along this edge of the board that he's set up on. Um, he's probably going to try and hide behind these rocks to a certain extent and try and see if he can get Nicholas to um blast through them. But I think he needs to try and isolate. Maybe try and get one ship, wipe it out. If he gets all guns on one ship, there's a good chance of him taking it out. Yeah, I mean, he's it set up... It depends how many there against him, doesn't it? Yeah, he's set up right behind the rock, so I think if he's thinking about it, he's wanting to leverage it, isn't he? Yeah. But I just I just can't see how the B-Wings can do anything, really, against the Six. You know, they're one agility, they're going to be getting auto-blastered to death. Yeah, um, it is a very tough matchup. Uh, I mean, Nicholas didn't go top of Swiss because, you know, I mean, it, you know. the yeah. problem is as well is the the um, the M threes are just so cheap. Like if he does lose one, he's not that bothered. If he, you know, the trade ups really easy. They're only what twenty five points base, is it? Mm. Something like that. And Dave, um, Dave Sutcliffe has said using his, you know, mathematical brain for the game, that they're one of the two ships that's just under-costed, just a little bit under-costed because of what you can do with them. Um, yeah. and I mean, a spacer with auto-blasters, 28 points. You can put ion cannons and tractor beams and all sorts of things on them, and they're not much more I mean, expensive than that. I've seen that, that uh, Acta's been ripping it up with that list. Yeah. That I did awful with at the system open. <laughs> that's again it's a it's one of those lists that's just totally binary though isn't it like if your three dice ships hold out on the first engagement then you get people in trouble but if you blank out a couple of times like i played yeah, um no i played young will um at was it the sith taker open and i was flying something else and one of his cartel spacers just wouldn't die it had one health and he just kept rolling just enough evades and i was like at that game I think it was three turns it just rolled enough evades oh, to live, or maybe four. Looks like he's turning the Ewing. He shut the wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not that's a quite a good move though. Yeah. It was deception. Deception plan. Up until the system open, I'd I'd been doing really well with that list. And then the system open put me off it and I've not been able to put it down again since. Just because that yeah. time that the greens failed, it was just gutted. Yeah. So it's interesting. It he looks like he's going to be. In fact, he is. He's splitting his forces. And I, I, I can see what he's trying though, because you have to make them ships choose a direction. You, you can't. Yeah. His four ships cannot take on them. But they're not manoeuvrable enough to to do all this arc dodging. The, the problem is, is the B-Wings are the easier target because they aren't as manoeuvrable. I you guess know, so. It, if he slow it's rolls, quite they, predictable. they can turn around pretty quick. Yeah, but it's quite predictable of where the B-Wings are going to go. You know, I he's mean, got he can turn around. The, the one skips talent. have got the speed. <clears throat> but the, the skips have got the speed to catch him, as have the ties. So, you know, uh, uh, it's interesting. He can just one hard those B wings still at the minute or two hard barrel roll away. So, you know he's not he's not committed to that flank yet. He's still got quite a lot of play. Yeah. I, I he's think he's going to just one forward the B wings and see where the little swarm goes because the swarm at the moment has got two big options to go to really. So even to JVDSM one and even to Dark Angel seventy five. Uh, I'm sure I recognise them too. I recognise JVD DSM1, but I d he won't reveal who he was last time, so. <laughs> so it looks like Do you know who they are, the then? Room. No, I don't, mate. Let us know who you are. But evening, anyway. 
even if you don't want to share. <laughs> so one of the best things I like about um, TTS is flying a swarm is you don't have to mark ships and mess about. And, and sometimes when you, I mean, me and Will flew swarms for quite a while. Sometimes you'll decide to move and think, oh, well, that's a lot of ships to mark. I'm not going to bother doing that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got Tony. Tony. Hey, Tony. Another, uh, another tin squadron. Ah, oh, the Cornish are in. <laughs> They're actually from Devon, Will. <sighs> ah, well, they all eat pasties. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's John. Hey, up, John. Oh, the name's a code. He should have cracked it, Will. He's supposed to be a military man. Mate, I, I crack skulls, not codes. <laughs> I leave that for no, intelligence place. Because some of the people can join the military now. <laughs> yes, we do. See, they eat pasties as well. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love a pasty. <laughs> I can tell you love a pasty as well, Ben. <laughs> oh, we know I do. Right. It's, it's, pasties are one of the food that we're not allowed in the house because I just destroy them. I can't help myself. Same as crisps. I'm not Cornish. I do love a pasty, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's young Sean in chat. Yeah. Producer Sean. <laughs> He's calling oh, you that... a legend, Will, because you've not actually played the game for eight months. <laughs> it's le legendary status. <laughs> Some people don't believe you ever played X-Wing. <laughs> I know. I tell you what, I teared it up on my first ever Lord of the Rings tournament, though. Are you going to are you going to are you going to tell us just what you played, it, or or are we thing. just going to ignore you? Just ignore something about <laughs> Hobbit bullshit. Lord of the Rings. I played Mordor, having never played the game before. First ever tournament was the system open, and uh, I come twelfth out of thirteen. No. <laughs> so Top do you boy, think? I... Do you think the B wings are going to swivel back around here? I think uh, uh, if they go I head on, I'll be very, very surprised. Um, yeah. If they if they go head on, I mean they're almost committing suicide. Um, <laughs> See if Wedge has gone quick here, he could swoop in the back, do a bit of damage, disengage. What three three bank then a boost? Yeah. I mean, if his foils are uh, closed, he can coordinate the boost, get a focus, do a blue maneuver, take a target lock. Maybe. Mm. I don't know if he can get enough ground though. I don't think he wants to. Well, I mean, even with it being wedge, if he's shooting a cartel spacer at range three with his foils closed, he's going to do nothing. No, but you can. If his foils are closed now, he can coordinate the boost focus. Yeah. Then when he activates, open them. Is what I'm saying. He's done. Oh, Captain Rex is in. Yeah, he's done it. <laughs> He's done a straight yeah, boost, though, rather than... Uh, so he's coordinated See, he... a straight boost. Okay, can, yeah. Can, can I just point out, he is Cornish. See? He is. I knew he was. I was just being daft. So he's coordinated the straight boost. Interesting. It must mean he's done a... It must, it must have hard. done a hard. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. As we said... Getting out of there with the B wings. Now it's interesting because obviously if he does the hard next turn with the B wings, the two the two <laughs> bank is slap them all down. Is the the two bank is the hardest he can go now with the B wings, right? Unless he decides to keep the stress. Mm. So he's just um, slow rolled wedge. He didn't jump in at all. No. Um, I guess kind of think wedge is going to be hanging out there a bit. Because those you, you don't really want to overcommit though, because they can. I mean, they've got three, three and five k's, haven't they? I'm not sure what the mining guild ties have got, but 
they can spin around relatively well. Yeah. I mean, but they're, they're a tie. Wedge coming in. So, you know, the 5k gets you out of a dodge. Next turn, just fly at Wedge and take him out. So he has to be careful with Wedge. I mean, it's interesting what his game plan is. Now, I'm wondering if he's going to try and take, like, like you said, take, take the odd one out at a time and then regroup. Another one, regroup. Yeah. So Mining Guild ties only K turn as a three. So they've all got yeah. three K then. Yeah. I mean, you could always just hard one. Hard one focus. And see what happens from there. Because just just because he's got this formation right now, the strength of this list is he can very easily just break it up if he feels like it. Yeah, there's no reason for them to be flying in formation. I'm at Seracy. Oh, is that defensive rerolls? Is it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know the I don't know the range on it. Though. I think it's range one. I'm not hundred percent sure. It is. Also, Colm's forgot to start the timer. Uh, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 1 defends, <laughs> it can reroll one dice. Yeah. See, they're the fives, I'm guessing. And these are the threes. I don't know who all threes is it. See, the, the thing that's hard in um, TTS is when, when you fly against a swarm, sometimes it's worth, you know, making them fly around a bit so that the. the Formation gets a bit loose, but on TTS it's just perfect all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's it, this is interesting because they've both clearly decided they don't want the engagement to happen. So they're about to. Th th this might be one of these thirty-five, forty minutes before dice get thrown. Games. <laughs> I think. I think if Chris wants to win this, I think he has to do that. Hmm. Interesting. So since they've done that though now, there's nothing to stop the B wings spinning back around. Spinning back around and it, he's just yeah. using the B wings to bait them in. Yeah. And he's just seeing which way they go and go, okay, well we'll spin around, fine, whatever. Because while the B wings are up close, they can they're quite manoeuvrable, aren't they, to decide to go in or out yeah. of the fight. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Colm's got my message. About I mean, they'd wandered off. What's going on? That you would not started the timer, mate. <laughs> ah, well. I'd say it's about 70 minutes. <laughs> More than that. More than that gone. Shall I just leave it here, then, for you? <laughs> well, just, can you not change the timer on the overlay to match what's on the table? One, one or two. You know Colm likes to move the things around. Hey, check, check him out. Look at that. I mean, it was almost right. Oh, it's close enough. That'll do. Close enough. We'll play to the table, it's fine. So, what do we reckon? I mean, <laughs> just, just looking at the scum list, they don't have any hard oh. blues, so... They want the one or two bank at this point to clear those stresses and just go straight banks, again. They? They're yeah. gonna, but they're gonna What's go for the, the longest ties, bank. Um, banks. The which one? Ty's the got. Um, I know Ty's got two two it? bank. Two bank, two straight. Uh, two bank, two straight, and um, three straight. And the interceptor's got one banks and two and three straight. So if he wants to keep his formation and clear stress, he's gone straight, probably two straight. Leave himself yeah. some options. Yeah. Or he could just too hard everything and keep the stress and clear it next no, turn. No, he's, he's, he's got one straight, mate. Okay. Yeah. I'm too yeah, busy looking straight. at I'm too busy looking at <laughs> dials to watch the game. <laughs> So there we go. So we've gone slightly more aggressive now with K2 or so, which is what he needed to do if he didn't want to leave Wedge hanging out on a limb.
But the question the is now... Is, I can see them uh, all just turning in on the U-Wing. Yeah. The question is, are the B-Wings going to get there quick enough to be able to do and affect it? It looks like you've done the um, one talent. One thing yeah. you can, can't say about B-Wings is they're not fast. <laughs> Mark. Uh, I mean, oh, Sean, Ben would Sean's shut up. Just brave. leave Will and Rich on. <laughs> He's always brave when he knows I can't reply to him properly. I wouldn't listen to Pinsar. I'll tell you what, Mark's getting brave and all. <laughs> keyboard warrior. <laughs> it's usually see Sean has Rich to back him up, but you know, Rich is with us now, so. What's the fastest of B Wings? Blue? Is it three? Three straight. Is it blue? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's got a four red. It's got a red four. Yeah, the stress though, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But they can't boost. The, they've only got the barrel roll, but. I mean, there's a two bank barrel roll. Well, that's white as well, so they can't even do that. So. They're going three. They're going blue three straight next turn. Those B wings, aren't they? Yeah, I can't see him slow rolling anymore. He's got to try. He, with, with, yeah, with the way he ships, his other two ships are positioned. He's really got to. Really the thing got to is, try and get him in there as quick as possible. Now. I mean, the U wing can go slow, I guess. The U wing can stop and still get a calculate because of K two SO's ability. Yeah. So it can stop, and with where that debris is sitting, he's going to be taking. If he's if he stops, he might be taking one or two range three obstructed shots. Sure, I'm thinking he's the beef expert. I think he's right, though. I think the U wing will stop, and and Wedge has got no choice but to hard. I, I, I mean, I agree with him. I think Wedge has <laughs> gone. I think Wedge has gone a hard three. Look, I think look, Wedge is going to swing man. himself the whole way round. Um, but I think that Nicholas might jump wedge here. I can say I feel like the the three hard is very obvious, but I don't but know wedge, what else wedge can do that isn't obvious. He's in a position like where he, he has to turn in, doesn't he? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't even the one. I mean, he can bank. I mean, he could or if he wants to. He can bank, but then he'd just be facing the edge of the board. Yeah. Mean, <laughs> you know, it's he's yeah. I mean, if I was Nicholas, I would literally jump on Wedge here. Same. I'd try and wipe Wedge out. Thing is, yeah. even Because he's if the he... one who stops you three dice, doesn't he? So he has to bank. So he has to three bank. He can't straight, because if he straights, then Wedge too hard and barrel rolls back and doesn't take any shots at all. Yeah. So he has to bank. Three bank's going to take him there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as he does it. Cheers, Nicholas. Um so even if Wedge too hard here, he's only taking one or two shots. Yeah. And then he's making him make choices, which is what um, I think Chris wanted. He just didn't quite get his B-wings right. <coughs> it depends how well... The dice treat Chris here, though, isn't it? There's a chance of him popping a ship. I, that's unlikely with Sirisu rerolls and shooting before the the I'll swarm. Three. Target. What's happening here? Oh, target lock. Hey. hey, Tim. I hope hey, your Tim. game went well. Hi, mate. Not heard your voice for a while, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Tim played last night. We nearly played a mirror match, so I changed my list. Because that would have been awful. But now the, now the B-Rings are stress-free, I guess they can start trying to get in there. I mean, mm. they can set themselves up for a three bank next turn. So that's the blade like squadron there. That's the, well, the blade squadron in it. Mm. 
So you, you care less about that one. So I think he's setting himself up to too hard and come in and try and catch these um, things on the flank as they come round for the U-wing. But I like 10 with the new uh, s Velva. It's one of my favourites. Good. It's just neat. It's a neat little ship. Does a really good job. Yeah. I like as well that you have to barrel roll first. I think they made a mistake with the B-wings that you could um, you do it the other way, the focus barrels. Yeah. I would say next, next turn's an interesting one. I mean, there's going to be some dice to be chucked here, but... It's going to be interesting to see where Nicholas takes the swarm if he goes right after wedge. Yeah, and then he or, really... or he can go straight, and then if whatever wedge does, you know, I'd unless be he very surprised if he didn't go after wedge. Yeah, he, he he has to because if the swarm starts to fall apart, wedge can just start popping the ships one at a time. Yeah. I mean, he's, I mean, Chris has done really well here to set it up. So he can, um, <laughs> he's give him options to go after. Do you know what I mean? He's, he... oh, that's three. Oh, no, that's two, even. Three. Got a target lock, hasn't he? He's going to uh, keep his lock. He's not going to spend it. One. Could have done two damage. Why is it? Oh yeah, range three. So Tim won his league game, 155 to 75. Went down to free hole and proceeded not to die. And kill everything. Nice. <laughs> what oh, it looks like. So John John reckons a free bank from the top tie in order to block. Mm, not a bad shout. Could do. Skits can take wedge. Yeah, they certainly can. <laughs> nothing like uh, nothing like cheering on your own teammate there. Uh, <laughs> that is. Dutch Co. Hello. So that uh, U wing's going at the damage. Um, M3. Two there into it. Oh, hit, hit crit. Oh, he's got some little reroll. What was the reroll? Oh, yeah, he took the lock, didn't he? Sorry. So, take... so that's not the damaged one. No, there we go. Take one. He's got Sarah's new reroll. Yeah. He's, he's done the reroll. Oh, he took, took one. I think I'm a bit behind you. Oh, no, he's took the crit. It must be on that damaged one. What was it? Did anyone see? Ah, he crack-shotted it. Ah, clever. Ah. What was the crit? Uh, console fire. Okay. Oh, well, that's a bit going, because that triggers this round, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it certainly will. There we go. Here, I guess the U wing's the one that you, if anything, you're all right losing the U wing. I don't know, you know, because when you when we obviously watched Chris's game, that K two S O really, really shone. Yeah, I I want to try it out because the um the. To getting stressed and getting calc allows you to coordinate, so you're getting an action and a half out of yeah. a single action, um, and you can still stop and get half an action as well. So it's he's really, oh, really efficient. Chris's Chris's is, Chris is evade dice are on fire. <laughs> Mate, he's I rolling every gonna, evade known to man. I was going to try Chris's list. It looks interesting in my league game, but it was against um, Andre. Uh, you know who's played against him on stream. Mm -hmm. 
I, I know he likes to fly beef as well. I was like, that's going to be a really boring game. I'll fly something else. <laughs> number two. Uh, number two of these. I don't really think Nicholas has got like bad attack dice. Like he's no, it, it, the time. It, it's no, it's not that. He's, it's just at, at range three, mate. He's got Chris four dice. Getting, just he's whiffed on one. Yeah, he's whiffed on one, but he's got two on most of his attacks that were in range of the U-wing. I'd, say, I'd but... say that. I, I mean, I think the dice have been pretty average for Nicholas. Yeah, Chris has lost well, Chris a shield. Has God <laughs> Chris has lost a shield. He maybe should have lost two shields, so he's not. Yeah. 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 All right, Sean. Look at you, pen attention. Yeah, but out of all them shit, overall, you're only looking at the double blank time. What do they call it? Negative bias, is it? Cog, um, yeah. Unconscious bias. No, it's um, uh, confirmation bias. You think your green dice are bad, so you notice the double blanks. Yeah. Or the, the blank cards more than you notice the ones where you get just enough. I've been trying to consciously notice when mine are really good to try yeah. and remember. Yeah. Yeah, I can see, yeah. I can see this one taking some out. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I don't know how doing, Wedge gets away. I mean, doing the two. one bank. Did uh, Nicholas roll for the console fire? Sure. Yeah, I must have missed that roll. So, yeah, I mean, does he just zero stop here with the U-Wing, or does he just try and go forward? Just one forward it and try and take out some of the side of the... Uh... What um, what rent has the K-Wing got? Do you know? I know it's got the stop. It's just the is stop. It, is, it, is it nothing else? Pretty sure. Let me check. The U-Wing. The U-Wing, not the K-Wing, mate. There's no K-Wing on the board. Just yeah, the U-Wing. Yeah, it's just the stop. Just the stop. It's, okay. got, it's got a decent dial, actually. Um, one and two banks and straights for blues and four straight white, three banks and straight. And just the only hard turns it's got are too hard, so it's pretty predictable in that sense. But when it's got to stop and a rotate, it doesn't need to use them if it doesn't want to. One forward, draw, well, draw four. I don't know. Or try and coordinate a barrel roll to wedge and help the escape. Oh, one forward and draw fire from wedge. We'll try I and hope wedge it. can afford to draw fire, if money. If if the U wing stops, he guarantees himself some action. If he tries to move forward and the swarms turned in on him, then he could just be blocked. Um, so I do think I he's going to stop with the U wing. I don't see what the stop gains him. I also think that the B-Wings are at least two turns, if not more, out of actually being relevant, which is, I think Wedge might just have to try and disengage as best he can this turn and see if he can survive. Yeah, Swarm's definitely going for Wedge. Oh, oh. Swarm's, oh. Swarm's turned. It's turned on the U-Wing. This is why I, I, I personally would have moved my U-Wing forward, um, just in case they did turn on me. What, so you get one bump? Yeah, just stop one shot. I mean, he could be splitting the swarm here, couldn't he? Yeah. I mean, it's the type of swarm that you perfectly find. Splitting it up. I mean, when he but went against you... Al, he split Sean, the swarm up really well. Sean, I don't know why you're surprised that you were wrong. <laughs> 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 I mean, if if Chris has decided that he's going to lose one or one or the other, he might have just taken the moves to get maximum mods with both, so... It wouldn't surprise me to see Wedge doing something where he's going to absolutely rinse one of these six at range I, one. I don't really know what else Wedge can do. Unless he's blasted like four straight or something yeah, to try and get it up a bit, it. just getting the arc spread. He's getting actions here. He couldn't, um, he couldn't bank these guys without hitting the debris, I think. So 
Yeah, I'm used to flying a dwarf, a droid swarm. No one cares about the. He's not. He's that one shot. He's not taking. Yeah. I mean, the B wing don't care about that. I mean, the B with the B wing being range for that spacer there on the left. What's he rolling Possibly. for here? He's just he's saying strained. if he's strained, but doesn't matter. Oh. If he's going to play next turn. No, he's not. Well, he's going to go for the rock again next turn. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be Auto Blaster City for this U Wing, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, though, it's, he's, they, they're all in his arc, so he's just dicing it now. Um, Auto Blasters, what, three dice? Three dice, yeah. Um, oh no, it's more in bullseye in there, if I remember rightly. Uh, no. Was it one extra bullseye? Actually, I think it's yeah. one extra in the bullseye, so he's going to get some four dive shots there. That's pretty scary, actually. Yeah. He's got one, two... In fact, that one's bumped, so he's got one, two in bullseye, at least. Yeah, it's one extra in bullseye, and then if you're not in the defender's arc, you can't cancel the crits, but that's not going to trigger this turn. Next turn just be more interesting oh. if they all 5k. He's gone for the barrel roll. However, has that put him in art? No. Fine. He's gonna eat a um he's gonna eat a shot from that pink one that he's got in bullseye. But that's it. That's a range three two dice shot. I think he's got that yellow one in bullseye, you know. Or the white one. The white one, even. Mm. He's got Maybe. a crack shot, so it's a chance to kill one. Yeah. I mean, he spent that crack shot on K2SO, right? Already. Yeah. Crack shot gone him on K2. Yeah, on K2SO. I think he spent it last turn. So Wedge is looking for dice lock here, and he's got a crack shot as well. So he's only got one tractor beam. He needs to get two tractor tokens onto the U Wing tractor. Yeah. So two of them. Is he going to yeah. crack shot one of them? Oh, no. He no, on he that guy. He went for the range one. Yep. He's probably not in bullseye. No, he's not. I think not. you're right. So I think with the U-Wing, he's going to try and... Oh, no, Cersei first. So he has got him in bullseye. He's got a tractor beam anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did look at the list, I promise. I mean, it's on the screen. I mean, he's got what? Four dice? Well, sarasu has got tractor beam for four dice, but no chance of doing damage. Um, and Or just a primary. Yeah, he's taking the primary. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, you can really pump some damage into the U and the there's a stream that just, just kind of rolls again. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's one way to win games, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, that it, half of it is just rolling better, isn't it, sometimes? It's starting to sound like Bob now. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't just say, take whatever power list is going. Practice. Take a competitive dash rolling list. <laughs> Chris is green. Yeah. Well, Bob's explained to us many times that with the Skurgs, knowing when to do that talon is a very hard skill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, his greens are amazing, but his reds are bogging. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's he, he's one hit lower than he'd expect to be with no yeah. mods. I didn't even see that hit. I thought I'd blanked out. Oh, that B wing got it. Yeah. Again, no mods range three. I'd be very shocked if anything happened there. That also says though that that B wing's probably going to get a shot next to. <laughs> <laughs> Just <thought laughs> that. Oh, got Sarah Sue. Uh, well, that be all right. Yeah. No, he's got the oh. focus. Yeah, he's spending the focus. I mean, that's got. He bumped it. Uh, yeah, that's the one he bumped. He's not shooting anything. So does K2SO go off here then? Six health. You should do, shouldn't he? Uh, he does uh... god rolls. <laughs> I mean, he's taken what? One there? Yep. There's one shield. I miss Bob. I keep trying to convince him to play on TCS. I don't think he understands computers, to be honest. They didn't have He's... them invented. Takes another a... one. They didn't invent computers until Bob was about 50. Oh, he's, so he's on out at last. <laughs> so K K K2... K2SO is on four health now. <laughs> He's going down. Uh, he's only got to ride out this six, one, actually. No. Six, two. He's going to survive, because the other shot ships aren't shooting at him. Yeah, so, well, he's down to two, yeah, I suppose. Does he still see him monochrome? There we go, it just gets him out on. Oh, a nice little range too there. And then all the dice. Oh, look at that. There, there's, there's Chris's green back again. <coughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. Does he I think still we have to look at... Monitor? We have to look at the dice stats um, at the end and see... Uh, I don't actually see. know how to do that. You just right-click and... Like what, says present, map? yeah. Just right click anywhere on the global right click oh, menu, yeah. and um, it's on display dice statistics or something, and it just comes up in the chat window. It's a bit of a wall of text, but I'll have a look next time I play. Whatever you do, don't do what I did yesterday and accidentally click reset dice statistics, which is just above the display dice statistics. <laughs> <laughs> Did he roll for console fire then? Because I didn't see it. I don't think he did. I didn't no, see it. Think... Sean's paying attention. They will tell us if he did or not. If the no, column's Sean's listening for a while, can you uh, can you just check they did it? I know we usually don't interfere, but it's like a top eight, so it kind of matters a bit more. <laughs> Does it though? No, but we talked about it afterwards. <laughs> we asked um, we asked the players whether they would rather us ignore these things or like actually point it out, and they said they'd much prefer us to point it out because mm -hmm. they wouldn't like to feel like they'd cheated. That's fair. Did, did all players say that? <laughs> <laughs> Not you, you cheating get. <laughs> what are they thinking of me? <laughs> <laughs> so what is it here for the um for the I swarm? I, I, I reckon it's uh five K uh three three Ks, maybe five Ks for the three six that are sitting in front of the U Wing. Um hard turn the blue one in. Try and build the kill box. Possibly. I mean, it, I mean, it is a bit of a melee now, isn't it? Let's be honest. I mean, the the six that five k the six have got is amazing for just at this point. You know, three of those ships can just be 
Oh, he takes one from the console fire. Oh, has he done it now? Yeah, he's just. Oh, yeah, we did forget okay. it. I was just messaging Colin to see if he'd seen. That's um, fine. So, yeah, that then... top skick, does that 5k not take him onto that rock, though? Yeah, but he can 3k into the gap, or he can just one hard. He can just one hard mm -hmm. down that one. I imagine now, from watching like Nicholas's last game, I can see him getting blocks on because his blocks were amazing last time. I mean, he's got an obvious block. <coughs> um, the U wing's going to stop and get one last calculate modded shot before he dies. I think. I suppose as well if he shuts his wings. Wherever they no, go, he shuts his turn. wing and spins. Because yeah. he's going to die anyway if they're all behind him. You may as well turn and try and blast them and take it with you. Yeah. Or, you know, his other option there is a four straight. Just get out of dodge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Chris if sees a four straight, is, you're probably going to die anyway. Yeah. I, I would. I would doubt all it takes is a couple of stray crits. Then again, I don't know. Range auto blaster is not to two in it, actually. It's not to two, yeah. But, I mean, yeah. still, if he's uh, got one, one, to two, one token. So there we go, as you predicted. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there were any blocks to play for. I think you were right, Ben. If he'd had a block to play for, they would have gone for it. But Yeah, I could see I think maybe he might... the TIE fighter at the back, maybe. Yeah, he might Just come down and try and block... Yeah, he might try and block Wedge with that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, 5K, there we three go. Ks. Sarah Sue's going to 5k. Yeah, that's the play for the block with Wedge. That's, that's a good play for the block with the U-Wing as well. He's definitely very good at flying this list. Oh, yeah. I don't even think the 4k I... from Wedge fit. Maybe, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know. I think the only thing that Wedge has got on his dial that actually fits is a too hard up into the swarm. I think that. I mean, the, um, the B wings the, the, might the, block. The, the blade squadron might be able to get involved now. Yeah, oh, definitely will do. It, it's going to start getting something. It's still, oh, I mean, it's it's going to go over the cloud again next turn as well. Yeah. So he takes and it and he's strained. He's not going to get shot though, so he doesn't care. But there is the chance of him getting strained again next turn. Yeah. It's gonna. Was that a two bank or a three bank tended there? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't think it was enough. Well, he's stressed, so I'm gonna assume it's a three. Oh. It doesn't matter because the only bank blue they've got is the one bank, so uh, he's throwing himself around with a single mod to try and sneak a range three on something. Fact, they've not even got three banks, have they? Uh, they do. B wings. Three banks red, right? Yeah, red three banks, yeah. So it's that'll have been a two bank. Yeah, yeah Wedge has just said no. Yeah. This is why I'd Chris is a better player that. than me. I'd have one banked him and bumped. <laughs> I mean, Chris is flowing this list a lot as well, so you're looking at He's two a lot people who know what they're yeah. doing. He has, yeah. These guys know what they're doing with this stuff. Oh, oh that's unlucky. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, that's that's the risk of K-turns, though, isn't it? I mean, if you had a focus, that that's not so bad a roll. So the K-2SO stop? It, it must have been. Unless it was a one forward. I think he moved. I'm, I'm sure I saw him move. I think it, was, I think it may have been a one forward. Oh, what's he got so he's, there? he's shooting against the one without mods. That's it. Focus, focus. Oh, I can't see the other one. Oh, jeez. Takes a crit. Is 
So it must have been hit, crit, and two eyeballs, yeah. What's the crit? Do we know? No. Colin? He'll be on he it in be... a second. He must be doing right. something else as well. Oh, hit, hit, crit. Oh, sensor oh. Array. Damage sensor array. Tasty. Which one's that? That's the B-Wing. Oh. oh. And the thing is here, Chris oh, is being forced to split his fire, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, he certainly he's, is. He's got... There's a bit of points on each. K2SO is going to go off this turn. Um, or you would expect him to go off this turn. But he's not managed... Chris hasn't managed to kill anything. And he really needed to be trading kind of half on K2SO for two spacers. Because they're not worth anything apart from service suit. There's a chance that one of them will roll it, roll a crit and kill it, roll a hit and kill itself anyway. It's got two hits. Oh, is it in range? Which wow. one's I don't know. Wow. I didn't expect that. No. So was that ten from downtown, was it? Yeah. Or was it the blade? Oh, it must have been. That was the blade squadron that did that yeah. damage. So, 10 shot. Blade squadron's shot. There we go. There's the console fire. Does an eyeball kill it? No. Is it just a hit? It's hit and crit. I don't think it crit, does it? I think it's just a hit. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, there's one more. One K to us, so he only needs one more. So if any of these, if this rolls a crit, then the K to us is dead. And he just needs to sneak one through, so he needs Chris to just not roll a wiggle. He's got one there. Oh, well, there, there we go. He's dead. Regardless yeah, of what he it. rolls. <clears throat> I mean, he's done his best. <laughs> yeah. He was holding on. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, that, that K2SO was soaked up so much fire there that it could have been going somewhere else. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that's some bonkers green dice. And he has got two two spaces on one hole now. Yeah. And ultimately, he's a robot, which means that he can be reconstructed by the Rebel Alliance later on. <laughs> I've watched a lot of Clone Wars. So you'd be surprised how many times the robot's just like, oh, it gets rebuilt, he's fine. I'm, I'm only well behind. I think I'm still on season one. Oh, wow. It's good. On, the, on season one of the Clone Wars? Yeah. Are you even a Star Wars fan? I've never had anything to watch it on before. Because um, we had Disney Live before Disney Plus come out, and it never remembered where you were up to on episodes, or and it just got on my nerves, so I stopped watching it. So now that's what I watch on my own. Me and Emma always have like a program we watch together, and then one we watch on our own. Yeah, fair one. I've you're, started you're getting, re-watching you're, Rebels. You're getting bashed here for calling me a cheat, just by the way. Who <laughs> <laughs> <It> is? <laughs> See, everyone knows the score. We're, we're not. Well, I'm not watching in the correct order, Rex. Unless you mean, you know, watching them in the order that they're actually shown in series. Which I'm I guess you're not just watching in series order. Whatever Disney Plus. Seems like too much effort to try and watch them in. in... I know there is a hatchet order for Rebel, uh, not Rebels Clone Order, where like some of the episodes jump around a bit, but. That's only like towards the start middle. There's it. You hit season five, six, and seven, and it's all. Um, it's really well done, but it's it's all. What's the word? I can't even think of it. So I've had, the, the, no, go on, Rich. I was said I've had I've had one small beer and half a bag of wasabi peanuts, and I can't think straight. So <laughs> it's the wasabi that's done that. 
I know when I had to put myself on mute a couple of times while I nearly died. I think the words you were looking for were chronological order. That's the one, thank you, Will. Pride of Her Majesty's forces you, mate. Hey, there we go. So the reason I watch, um, I watched the first two of the prequels, and now I'm watching the Clone Wars. And then once I finish Clone Wars, I'm going to watch the third one of the prequels, and I'm working my way through. I can't cool. bring myself to watch the prequels. I'll watch The Phantom Menace because it's, you know, mindless and a bit dumb, but the other two are just so bad, I just can't watch them. I don't mind them that much, to be honest. Do you know something? I've not watched Rise of Skywalker again on Disney+. Plus. I've only seen it once in the cinema. I oh, just haven't watched it again. Interesting. Just so, um, obviously, one, one cartel spacer has turned towards the B-Wing. Uh, another one has literally K-turned. Um just completely out of the way. Yep. I think he's sort of regrouping for his next turn though there. I think it well, I think he's I think he's focusing in on the B wings. I think he I think he thinks Wedge is gonna start running, so he's just gonna turn and face and try and do as much damage and take out these B wings. Wedge has all the space in the world. He certainly does have all the space in the world. I mean but Nicholas seems to be covering all angles. This, this, so no matter where Wedge goes, he's going to have to move. Ooh. What's that for? Oh, that's for the... Yeah. No, he's good. Very strange. Very strange. He is strange. Yeah. yeah. Hit or eyeball. Oh, five, yeah, yeah, of course. Five out of eight chance for a strain. Oh, here comes 10, foils open. What's the difference with foils open? I can't remember. Uh, it gives him the barrel roll into target lock. Okay, and the other one's... Uh, it evade. Barrel roll into an evade? Yeah. Oh. He's going to target lock someone here. He's going to target lock. I think he was going for the bullseye. I'm not too sure he's got that in his bullseye. He's got a bullseye on blue all day, mate. Yeah, so you've got you've got four dice double modded here with a bulls or the crack shot. So I can't that do that. Cartel. He only needs to do three damage to him as well to pop that one. I mean, he might he shouldn't kill him to be honest. He should do two damage, shouldn't he? I'm not. I don't know all the maths. I'm not. Really gonna... No, I don't know the maths. It's um, I'm just thinking what? averages. Wedge is literally done. Talon rolled. Talon rolled. Interesting. I'm surprised if he wanted to be pointing in the other direction, he didn't just too hard. Yeah. And give himself an action at least. Well. I'm surprised too. Unless he thought they were going to be in a, somewhere else. So, Sarah Sue's in a weird spot now. He's not covering the whole swarm anymore. So, Wedge could very well just pop a shield or a, a damage onto somebody here. So, there's Wedge. Two hits. What's he going at? Which one's he going at? I'm guessing he's shooting seriously. Oh, no, he's got it. No. Pop the guy that, that was one. on one else. Yeah, he was popped the one with the console fire, I think. Or is that one still on? I thought he would, that console fire was one was near the blade squadron. I can never see the brown very well on this. I find it blends in with the mat a little bit. So he has he's done the one with the console fire. Yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah. I'm paying I attention, think, Ben. I know. think it's what he I needed can't to do. Pick out the brown very well. The brown and the green look very similar to me. Yeah, some of the color choices on default aren't great, but. It's a nice little feature that you can just tint your ships and dials and cards automatically. Yeah. So, Sarasu puts two damage in. Oh, that's not good. That's what that it's Blade Squadron is there for, though, isn't it? Yeah. 
and he's going to start hauling. He's going to start hauling crits off ten if they start shooting ten as well. Oh, what was tractor, that? Tractor, tractor ten num. Yeah. I was going to say that, that he wasn't shooting at the blade. No. Uh, right. That's oh, that's so got to be a re- well. He can still damage. turn now. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, because that gives him another mod. Gives him another stress. But that's yeah. like a, another focus, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. He loses his crack shot, though. Well, though, I suppose it, any he's not getting a dice on anyway. Yeah. And he's still at range one. He's going to spend his target lock on that blank. Yeah, he got it on you at this point. Uh, oh, Spend the stress, anyway. Spend, spend the stress, yeah. Boom, boom. There we go. Oh! Sarah Sue. Is he going to spend... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. of course he is. He, says, he, he needs to keep his ships alive to keep threatening. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he can rely on natural dice for attack as long as the ships are alive to do it. Because, I mean, I'd that more, blue... I'd that blue six more gonna inclined to spend it. <laughs> that blue six is going to 5k next turn. And be behind him. I mean, they had to, right? I mean, that would have put that would have put Chris on sixty something points, seventy points, nearly sixty points. No, hang on, no, what we're talking about? Yeah, sixty, sixty-three points, sixty-one points. It would have put him on. That's hit crit from the blade. I'm assuming it's into the one with one hole. Yeah. It <laughs> <laughs> Column that, pipes up that, to do an Americanism. Nicely played. That was me. Was that you? That, yeah, it was actually Ben, that mate. Well, you sounded Irish for a minute. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hit the back of my throat, funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's not getting a dice, he's tracted. Oh, nothing. No damage. Very lucky. Be interesting to see who he goes after with the rest of the swarm here. Wedge. <laughs> oh, Sean had a shandy. He's feeling all brave. <laughs> oh. I keep closing chat and then I miss the fun stuff. <laughs> it's not fun. It's coming from Sean. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, Wedge takes nothing there. Now the rest, he's, surely he's going to home in on 10, right? Um, <laughs> Two-siders. It's a lot for sure. I think you have to take the blade out because you don't want to be shooting... Um, you don't want to be shooting 10 and then the blade soaking any damage off it because there's yeah. a good chance of him killing the blade here. Yeah, yeah true. I mean, that's a lot of range ones, isn't it? I mean, that's they're only rolling two dice. I mean, four. It's got all the blasters. Yeah. On, no, um... I mean, um, ignore me. I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> oh, oh, hit crit. Takes the crit. If it is indeed the, the blade. I is mean, it if, the it's blade? Not, if it's not, the blade's taking a shield. Because <laughs> you're going to soak that crit off, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, what's the crit? Uh, wounded. Wounded pilot. Is that the maybe get stressed one, is it? Can't remember. Means you're hurt. <laughs> Means the pilot's been hurt. He's gonna be he's gonna be dead in a second anyway, so it's not really gonna be relevant. He got wedged there. Yeah. Just got in range three. Yeah, just Has he? Can't see. It's not. It'll tell them in chat, so we'll see in a minute. Just press to see if you can get a target lock on him. If you can get a target lock, then you've got him. The blue, the blue line running corner to corner means that there is arc. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think he's. I think Chris is saying that Wedge doesn't have arc on him. But 
which is weird. I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, shaky, shaky mice and Did I miss anything? Um, no. They're discussing whether the yellow spacer has got Wedge in range 3 because Wedge didn't have the yellow spacer. But the game seems to be saying that they did. So It might be due to Ang. I don't know. It shouldn't be. They should have angle on each. They should have angle on each other. But it should sure, say in but... chat. It should say in chat if they do or not. Um, I mean, there's what fifteen minutes of the game left, so you know, lots of dice, lads. <laughs> I mean. If I was Chris, I won't be bothered. Uh, oh no! In fact, yeah, I would be. <laughs> I mean, wedges two off half, and no yeah. defensive yeah, mode here. Because so. there's a chance that Wedge could have killed that because he did some damage into the other one, didn't he? Yeah, so he killed the other one that was on one health when he had a fifty-fifty chance of it dying, or a three and eight chance of it just dying next turn, um, off console fire when it engaged. So we might have shot at that guy. I can't see what that top dice is. Looks like it was blanks. It didn't matter anyway. I, I mean, I, I, I assume next turn Wedge is probably going to kill that spacer up there anyway. Yeah, he's going to do a one or a two straight and just try and nuke it off the board, isn't he? Yeah. I mean... He is really struggling. <laughs> Who's that? Chris. I'd be surprised if he's able to turn this around in 30 minutes. I mean... One, killing that one car car cartel spacer next turn gives him 14 points, which only puts him on 56 points. Yeah. Nicholas is on, Nicholas is on 70 already. His win condition is he needs to kill two more ships without losing any more points. And that yeah. Blade Squadron's not long for this world at the minute, I think. No. I think it's a it's quite a hard matchup in it for the the, the Rebels. Yeah. yeah. It is. I mean, it's a I was just looking at it, I was thinking, would Chris have been better off jousting to start off with? Probably not. Because I mean, you don't no. want to joust into the mouth of that, but if he had jousted he might have been able to pop a couple of ships in the opening engagement. I don't, know if I, I don't think it's the right choice. I don't know if you heard me say earlier on, but Chris played this list um, in the one of the uh, Space Jams. Yeah. And he said that basically whatever he did last time, uh, Nicholas took a, a ship out each turn. So okay. I'm assuming he's, he's tried something different because whatever his original plan didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's interesting that they've played before. Because it means that they're kind of having, I think that he is thinking that I'm going to do things kind of thoughts because they've played the, the matchup already. That's like, well, it's like when me and Will play each other, it gets a bit yeah. silly. Yeah. <laughs> it's putting us playing each other now because we just, I think that he thinks that I think that you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that with me and Sean and me and Steve as well because we all live in Bolton. So we all used to. Round each other's houses all the time. <laughs> oh. Has Will seen something that's not happened on mine yet? No, no. It was just, I think he was bringing up the crit. Yeah. I, I think the B Wing died. I mean, I'm not sure what Nicholas does here, actually, to be honest. With a lot of the <laughs> ships. Um, Does he just spin them around? Because which one's Sarasu? Um, it's the one in the middle of them all, I think, that 
a reddish orangey one in between yeah. the two gas clouds. Yeah. Right. So if you look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the different colours. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the. So Serasu. So, so the one that looks like it's pink and looks like a tie fighter is the tie fighter. Serasu's the one to Cheers, the left Will. of that. That. Cheers, Will. That's red. <laughs> Yep, thanks. Thanks, Will. <laughs> I was being nice to you earlier. <laughs> don't know why I bother. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I bother either, Rich. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Can't say that on stream. <laughs> F's in the chat for Will Pintar, please. <laughs> uh, it's a very difficult matchup. We tested it the other day, and straight up jousting just doesn't work. Ten dies first round. Yeah, fair one. I do. I do think that's what's keeping the uh, the beef back down is the swarms, because because beef doesn't do very well against the uh, swarms. Yeah. Especially B wings. B wings don't like to be shot by lots. They can soak up damage, but they, they can't afford to take all them shots. Cheers for your support, Tim. <laughs> oh, Mark, I'm Mark Sean. There, brother. Oh, I'm Sean. Turn out. <laughs> it's all right, boys. All keyboard worries are out. <laughs> C- cards are marked. <laughs> <laughs> Tim needs to watch his back. I told him we've got the Twitch password now. We don't need him. <laughs> tell you what, do you know what? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm literally going to join Absolutely. whatever LARPing club that Sean's in, and hope and whatever one that is really like strongly based his character on. Like you know, put lots of effort in it, and I'm just going to sneak up behind him. All right, Sean, and I just lob his head off and kill that character dead just to annoy him. <laughs> Oh, Sean doesn't play LARP anymore, he just organises it. He's like a chief nerd. <laughs> just ruin his day. Just, there you go. Oh, you know that Viking character you've been working on for four years? Yeah, yeah. You're dead. Have that. Go on, start just a new phone, one. Just phone in a police <laughs> threat saying they're all gathering like they're going to get up from their foot. <laughs> the death of the drugs there. <laughs> My card's been marked for a while. <laughs> Yeah, but then when I see your face, you're just so nice, Mark. And then it just kind of, that anger just goes oh, away. I thought you were going to say, and then I see your face, and I just feel so sorry for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brutal. Oh, that's brutal. All right, so they're moving ships now. Here we go, right. So the K turns, like I said. <laughs> oh, no, whatever will I do? Let you mugs do all the work. <laughs> oh, super K. I think he's. Dialed in a K turn, but he was already stressed. Oh yeah. Uh the second time on stream tonight we've seen that. And I think he's just used a four letter word. <laughs> <laughs> because he now knows that Wedge is gonna two straight into range one of them. Or is he? Because Wedge wasn't expecting him to be there. <laughs> I mean I think Chris has dialed in a move knowing that that's not um that he wasn't gonna be K turning there. He's done a lot Cause... of bump he's done a lot of self bumping there just to be in the way. Yep. Kept his arcs wide, hasn't he? I'm assuming that Chris is gonna to have to try and get that blade squadron out of there, isn't he? Yeah. Oh no, no. Well he's bumped the blade squadron's bumped, mate. So yeah. blade squadron's not going anywhere. You're a bit ahead of us, so we don't see you. Oh, he's not got a strain this turn, at least. And he's got rid of a dirty crit. <laughs> I'm assuming 10 is just going to have to do the one. Oof. Oh. Oof. Oh, he's probably not got a shot there, has he? Keep he's his stress. Shot. What do you mean he's not got a shot? He's range one. He just bumped. He's bumped. Has he? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's covered it with a token. That's because he's embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean about Nicholas's blocking game. He's just putting his ships oh, in yeah. spots where he's just, you know, oh, that's a stressed B-Wing, he's doing nothing. Yeah, there's that move from Wedge. When he, when he played yeah. against Al, he just stopped Al doing all the things that his list needed to do. Yeah. He, really, he really played really well. I mean, I mean, so there's a chance here that the Blade Squadron takes that pink TIE fighter off. It's not a high uh, chance. On, on average dice, he's going to half point it, but that's only 11 points. The wedge is going to kill this guy. He should do. You'd I mean, like to think he's so. He's crack shot as well, hasn't he? No, he's spent... Oh, yeah, he's got his crack shot. No, nah, he's got his crack shot. K2SC. So he's got but, four dice, focus, and a crack shot. He needs to do one damage. But wedge does wedge things sometimes, doesn't he? Ah, yeah. Sean, I only attend invite-only games, which you're not invited to, mate. I'm a charming guy. Trust me. I will start oh. charming all the people, going under a pseudonym, and get invited. Yeah. Got him. But now oh, Wedge yeah. is going to take a return shot. From... I was going to say Wedge is going to take that range one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He's only was it two up half? Yeah. So really, a little bit of a. Chris Sorry, needs to get through the shooting as quick as he can here to try and set dials again. Yeah. yeah. I think another hit on the red dice off wedge and he would have just relied on not natural evades coming out and spending his crack shot to keep his yeah, focus here, but definitely. he only rolled one hit, so he couldn't risk that it would not roll two evades. Uh, Sarah Sue on 10. He's got I'm going to assume... I can see him tractor beam in the uh, blade. I think he's just going to shoot it. I think he's going to try and kill it. He's only got three left, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Even if he only puts one damage in here. Yeah, there we go. One. Oh, he must be strained. Because he's just taking the damage straight away. He shouldn't have been. Did he have one from the turn before? Mm. If he didn't do a blue move, then yeah. Oh, no, he's rolling now. There we go. He's still taking it. I think he's got a... Oh, this is crit. I think they were trying to decide whether he was strained or not. Oh, panicked pilot. Oh. Is it? Why has he suddenly got a stress? I'm confused. Wounded pilot. Oh. But... Why would that give him a stress, though? That's no. if you do an action and he bumped. Shouldn't have done. Hit crit anyway into the little pink tie fighter. Oh, is that... Takes a crit. That's an eye. Yeah, takes a crit. Direct. Yeah. That's half. Oh. So that's 67 to 70. Oh. That's what I mean. He needs to get through this lots of fiery. Four minutes. Oh. Four minutes, 40 seconds left. I think they had a pause timer while they discussed that. Oh, Range yeah. three. Uh, no, thing. don't forget we were, we were slightly... We were behind. Yeah, it wasn't two minutes difference, though. It was like about 20 seconds or something. So they've paused the timer at some point for something, which is fine. It's probably Players know what they're doing. Thing, it? So that chip just blank. Pretty much. Next one. One crit. 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 Oh. <laughs> so that's gone into ten, and ten's got shields. So yeah, ten will take the shield, won't we? He's got the shields for now. Ten and did ten not have a shot, did he? Because Wedge killed, right? Ooh, this yeah, is Wedge killed be, him. Man. Is this going to be two dice into the um, blade to try and kill it, or is it going to be uh, three dice with uncancelable crits into ten? Uh, I think you go for the blade because ten's yeah. quite happy to take the crits right now. 
yeah, you got to take that arc off the table, don't you? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, he's rolled, has he rolled hit, hit, uh, blank, blank crit, and it's an uncancelable crit? Must be into 10 then. So 10's taking a shield. No, you can't roll that. Oh, oh no, he hasn't rolled him yet. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I was going to say, that, yeah, that's, uh, that's nothing. Nicholas has been a bit unlucky with the red there. I know they're all unmodded, but... He's, he's rolling out. paint. Yeah, he's rolling paint, but he's rolling the wrong paint, isn't he? Yeah. So he's just rolled in the vein. What the hell is going on here? So this is into wedge. He, he was rolling the B-wings of eight dice before, so go. this is the TIE fighter into wedge. I think with a swarm, though, you have to kind of... Sometimes you just have to accept that you're rolling, you know, yep. unmodified yeah. dice. There we All go. Right. Dodges that. Not a problem. So, so Chris is... Chris has done well in that exchange. He probably should have lost. I mean, there's a couple somewhere. of minutes left, so dials down. So we're probably going right. to get one more turn here. Yeah, <clears throat> one more turn, and this actually matters because you know Chris could pull this back here, mate. We <laughs> is, is he going to do what he did last time and literally pull it back in the last shot of the game? <laughs> so I mean, ten and the other B wing are stressed. They will not be getting a shot this turn. They can't turn round. Nicholas has got two ships already turned round. How, so, how, how did the Blade Squadron get stressed, by the way? I'm anyone... confused as to what happened there, but uh, he did. Um, so, you know, he's, he's got a stress there, so... You know, um, to be fair, Mark, it's not normally just a flash. It's normally a boot and a grenade through the door. But you know, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with flash of the rifle. <laughs> so, like, what's going to happen here is Nicholas is going to cruise Sarasu, the blue sick. He's going to K turn the other guys, isn't he? Um, and then he's going to take shots at the back of the B wings. So they've got to go. Fast. Do you think um, ten's, ten's just going to try and get out of there? Maybe, maybe do the barrel roll evade. Free I mean, forward, barrel roll evade. Yeah, just to try and stop that half point. He's not going to shoot so, at ten though. Free forward, free, blues. Yeah, free forward. Uh, I don't. So if Chris blues, managed to kill something, he's ahead, isn't he? Yeah, but as long as he doesn't lose anything else. Two two he, health on a on a one hit blade squadron. That's you know a one great dice red the words. That blade squadron <laughs> is going to be what dies to give Nicholas the game. I think. Yeah. Because I, I think don't think he can get it out of dodge. Maybe hope to take out the best shot with wedge. Yeah. I mean. The only thing you can really take out here is a mining that mining guild that pink mining guild tie, and he's not going to be sticking around. That pink mining guild tie is going to be getting out of dodge. I mean, he's got a chance to take that red uh, spacer out. Not very likely. So, I mean, do you think Wedge is going to stick on a too hard down the, and the figure red, it out with his foils and repositioning afterwards? Chris, Chris realizes that he's behind. I think he does. It depends how much people track, because not everybody keeps such a close track of points. Yeah, it's easy for us to be talking about this now, but I mean, game's over, he can't do anything with the B-Wings, so he's just got a three straight barrel roll. Um, I know when I play, I don't keep a really close track of points. Yeah. I mean, the other thing that the the Blade Squadron can do is he can one bank to the left and then barrel roll back behind the gas cloud. Yeah, ah, true. Yeah, the blade's got wounded um, pilot as well. Yeah, good point. So, you know, he just gets rid of that stress, barrel rolls back and gets himself a, a five out of eight chance to evade one. But then you guarantee that's when he starts rolling focuses, isn't it? <laughs> is wounded the roll for stress? Yeah, it is, yeah. So yeah. I guess you have a chance being able to do the roll, don't you? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You can't one bank focus and then you stress. 
Yeah, but it, oh, yeah, he could do focus barrel roll, couldn't he? It's free forward here. Yeah, I mean, so he can either he can either chance the chance the fifty fifty on the stress um, before barrel rolling down, or he can just take the barrel roll and sit behind the gas cloud. Should have spent ten stress ten stress on last defense. Ah, right, yeah. <coughs> yeah, we should have. That's a good ah. There point. you go. Bumped K turn. Thank you very much. Maybe uh, Mark might have gone for a Talon or a K turn or something and got bumped. What on the B wing? Yeah, on the B wing because he he kind of shuffled forward on the cloud and didn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's what I said before because he was. Right, where's think... that stress come from? And I said yeah. maybe it's because he didn't do a a, a, a blue manoeuvre. Yeah. Because he'd cleared the strain from the thing. Yeah, it, it will have been a K-turn or a Talon or something. All right, so here's the movement. So the six are coming in just to try and kill off that B-wing. Turning up, they're expecting everybody's going to be running. There we go, three forward. Power roll focus. So, uh, so he clears roll. his clears his stress. Yeah. I think There you go, barrel roll focus. Uh he's got a focus barrel roll, so he's just barrel rolled. Because he's got winded pilot, so he has to take the focus and then see if he's stressed. And if he gets stressed he can't clear the barrel roll. Alright. Uh, yeah, so he gets stressed again. What's that? Was that the right call? I mean, he's avoided an arc. He's eaten a couple of shots. Why has he gone back again? I don't know. Oh, I think he said focus link barrel roll, but he's checked for the stress. I don't know. Ah, uh, right. Cleared? Yeah, he took the focus and took the risk for the barrel roll. Yeah. Mm, I think but he's, he's not got out of any arc there, has he? No. I think I would have barrel roll focus. I, I think I would have just barrel rolled, but I mean it's easy oh. to say once you've done it. Um oh that's an interesting one. That's oh. put a big that's put a big juicy target, hasn't it? Oh Don't think he thought that fit. Oh Barrel roll left. I was looking Barrel at roll left fit. I was just trying to figure out if you could go left and forward. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Is it worth just focusing and then trying it? Because if not, well, you've got two focuses. Well, yeah, because it doesn't matter whether you get stressed now or not. Yeah, that's what I mean. And ten's got, then he's got two focuses. And if it works, it's God move. No way is that fit. Not a I mean, chance now. He's, lo he's looking at it. <laughs> you can see from the way he's moving his, his mouse that he's looking at it. Not a chance in hell. I guess it depends where Wedge is going. I mean, Wedge is clearly turning. Well, the, that, the, where Wedge is going does not depend on whether this barrel roll fits. <laughs> no, but if, if you know Wedge <laughs> isn't turning in, you can barrel roll the other. Yeah. And at least get out of one arc. Don't think Chris thought... Oh, Give he's over! <laughs> Surely he's got the focus though, right? Surely he focused barrel rolled there, didn't he? Well, bit... He might have told Nicholas that he was going to focus barrel roll. I'm going to focus and then see if this fits. Yeah. Um, we'll see if he puts a, a stress and a focus down or if he doesn't. Because um, if not, he's just barrel rolled. What? No, surely not. I mean, I think genuinely think that maybe he thought that uh, yeah, there's the focus stress. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Sarisu rolls in and gives them all defensive rerolls. Yeah. 
And this, uh, oh, lucky. I mean, there's nothing Chris can do here. There's... I mean, but Wedge is going to too hard down and try and take something out before he dies. Three. Oh. 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 It's a three. Come on. He's done the talent. He's talent. Oh, the talent. Whoosh. I think that might be a dead mining guild tie here. We'll see. I mean, that one's... That one's on full health. That one's on full yeah. health. He's got but four dice and a crack shot. shot. But the tie has got a defensive reroll with Sirius. Yeah. There's nobody else. Really. I mean, he could take a range two into the other tie and just hope for dice. But, I mean, he gets enough points to win the game I mean, he get, he if a miracle happens. Either way, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he, he does. But then he's got to hope that he doesn't get half on ten. Yeah, he's got an outside chance, hasn't he? Of Well, I mean, he's got to hope for... Um, negative got... variance from Nicholas here, doesn't he? He's got to hope that yeah. Nicholas just blanks out in all his attacks in order to win the game. He's got because... to kill this now. And then God roll. And then God roll. If you don't kill this, then it's not even... Oh, there we go. Crit? <laughs> One crit's not making any odds, is it? Could be direct. Yeah. There we go. No. So is he going to crack? He's going to crack. Shot you it, he's crack it, aren't you? There's no reason not to. Which sensor, right? Something. Something that's not a direct hit, basically. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And that. That is game in it, really. It's game. He's got no other way to get points, so no. he's got yeah. no other shots. So. so that's it. Um. That is I mean, game. they can shoot out now, but that is game. Well, yeah. we're about a minute ahead of you, minute and a half. Um, basically, mm. you take some shots, but nothing really happens. So I don't know if you want to jump into the Discord with them and have a chat. They're in the... Oh, have they already finished? <laughs> yeah. They're a bit ahead of us. They're a bit ahead, but like, as you say, like Nicholas won at that point, because he was leading and Chris had no more shots, so... There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Try to jump in with us all and have a chat. No, I, I won't. But if you guys want to, I'm gonna go and um, go to bed. Oh, it's been lovely chatting to you, Rich. It yeah, has. It's been a while. <laughs> Thank you very much. I should. Uh, she'll try and jump on again next week for the. Um... <laughs> Are we doing the the final next Tuesday? Is it? So next is the top four. Are they playing it? Oh, but they might play it out before Tuesday, mightn't they? I don't know because we haven't finished the top eight yet. Okay. So it's not we'll been drawn. Happens. So. All right. Well, I'll see if I can jump on next Tuesday I'll, and do I'll some see. commentating. It's, it's more. It depends how everyone <coughs> around everything else. Yeah. Well, I've enjoyed it. Have a good evening, and uh, yeah. I'll speak to you Cheers, soon. Mate. See, see you later. Bye now. Ciao. Ciao. Right, we're on Chinese whispers. Boom. So I'm going. You know <laughs> what's going to happen. So yeah. it was, uh, it was, it was really interesting. Um, it was interesting to watch, especially for obviously the stream viewers and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I thought it was a really good game. Yeah. Um, obviously, you two have faced each other before. Uh, did you both have the same list before? Yes. 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 Exactly same list. So, um, obviously. First to you, Chris, what did you do differently this game that you didn't in the last? Um, I didn't just joust him and I split up. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I came in from the um, from both sides to try and 
coming from different angles. So yeah, I thought that was a good idea, but the B wings couldn't weren't quite fast enough, were they? To just... No, I thought he was going to take the bait and chase me down. We we're just talking about that, um, and that's why they did the three straight to get away. Um, but in hindsight, I should have done the one, and then they would have been back in it quicker. Um, and then when the blade went all over the gas clouds, that was because I was meant to do a two hard and not a two bank, which I had dulled in. Oh, that's where it all went wrong. And then yeah, so then that then yeah that spelled what happened with the blade. But no, Nicholas played a good game. Yeah. So I Nicholas played a good game. To be fair, yeah, I, I think I think it was it was great. It, it tactically it was really good to watch. Um, mm. Nicholas, what what was your what were you thinking going into the game? Did you did you think it was going to joust you again, or were you planning for something different? No, I kind of guessed it wouldn't joust me. Uh, that's why I started edging around the board edge to see which of his ships actually uh, went into all the gas clouds and obstacles to see which one I could probably chase. Because I can't change the U-wing. It can just stop, turn around, and disengage. Uh, but when Wedge was starting to get to a corner, uh, he didn't have a chance to too hard and just boost the other way. Or, well, I guess it could have been coordinated and too hard. Uh, but then I felt I did have a chance to engage it. And since the B Wings aren't famous for being the fastest ship, uh, I thought I probably had one or two engagements without them. So I just started pressing in and trying to get some hits in early on, which. Yeah. Fair, fair one. Um, yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it was interesting when, when you say there, Chris, obviously when you when you got into the melee in the middle, that's when the problems started happening. It seemed that that melee in the centre actually kind of give you a chance uh, a, a little bit at one point, and then it, yeah, it, did, kinda, yeah. it was it was it was going backwards and forwards with that melee in the middle. Yeah, the, the points the... were really close as well. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, it was at the end. I, I was going to uh, say at the end. That's why I felt I couldn't disengage and just run away during the last engagement. It was like, I know that if you get a lucky shot on anything, yeah. I'm probably down on points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was th yeah, three points in it right at the end while we were still was, watching. Yeah. It was like, if if you had to run away and Wedge would have managed to get a shot on something, that would have been, you know what I mean, with three points. Yeah. <laughs> There was a couple of things like Wedge at the beginning, he forgot he had a target lock when he got into range one of the blue one. Um, so that might have changed. The blue one might blue one might have been halved. Um, yeah. And then just before that turn where Ten Nam couldn't spend his stress token, then meant that I couldn't then do the 2k. And then it actually landed that one bank, which neither of us expected, <laughs> um, which then meant he then didn't get a shot. So, yeah. yeah. It's a couple of little little things, but hey. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, we, both, we both played a blinder, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I it could have gone either way at all times, I think. So. The, the Swarm yeah. is a really hard matchup for you, I think, as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a hard matchup for me because uh, it out joust me. And not a lot else does, um, I've been finding, like normally. Um, Look at Collins stealing the uh, B Wing tokens. I see. Who's literally on screen now, saving your U wing token? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll, do, I'll get this for you. Um, there you go. Then you get the next wing and a droid one as well. Then. Ooh. Ooh. Steal them, column. I want them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, there you go. You get some world's dice. Well done. Oh yes, yeah, so you're in these. <laughs> <laughs> Check you out, Chris, being all flash. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I give out all the prizes. There we are. <laughs> Since yeah, was like generous that, as always. Just steal of from the people. <laughs> A bit real. Um, Nicholas, obviously, we, your bumping game is quite on point. You, you you really like to utilize the the bumps from the um, from the skicks. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I've learned during most of my games 
Uh, I'm fine with letting a one ship just not shoot if that deprives my opponent of an action or just messes up their engagement. Uh, there's a lot of games where I just won hard into my other ships to just stay in the same place. For example, when I play against mm, bombers that drop bombs, yeah. I'm not really that foreign to just uh, two banking in one of the mining guilds and then one harding everyone into the mining guild, so the mining guild takes the blame. And just <laughs> uh, but usually it's better for me to just have several shots. Sure, getting mods are nice, but as long as my opponent doesn't have mods and I just have more shots, usually ends up on the plus side for me. Okay, just pure just weight of dice. Well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just leaning heavy in that variance. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you play this one, <coughs> we can shape, check the statistics on those. I'd, I'd love to check the statistics yeah. on Chris's green dice, I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> they were they were good at the beginning, I'll admit that. Oh, they're, they're quite happy. I had mean, eight on you, green dice. Yeah. Your red dice outweighed it, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they had their moments as well. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, was, it was funny at first. K2SO, I can't believe how long K2SO stuck around. He's a legend. I love him. <laughs> again, <laughs> again, twice. Absolutely oh, brilliant ship. So, um, so what were the yeah. uh, statistics on the dice, by the way? Um, uh, for actually, blue, it's very fair. Yeah. For me. Uh, blue yeah. had uh, around one for red dice. Ah, to be fair, my evade were massively up. <laughs> on green, uh, <laughs> yeah. I had minus one on green and minus seven on red. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those were in my favour. But it worked out in the end, at least. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I think most of that was K to SO as well. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah, he was riding his luck at the beginning. I can't believe it. So, yeah. yeah it was good. It was a good game. But it was yeah, good. It was good to watch. Tact tactically and really good to watch. Yeah. Cheers for the event, Bob. And the rest. I'd like to thank you all both for coming on again. I know you've both been on a couple of times now. No, that's all right. I don't mind. We don't want you now. You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm done now. Yeah, yeah. I'll just abuse everyone else from the chat now. That's fine. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you can come on and just have something more fun to play, you know, something silly, then you don't have to worry. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do I win anyway? Nothing. Nothing. Ah. <laughs> oh. Absolutely nothing. There's only the, the first respect and places. of your fellow X-wingers. Oh. <laughs> but since you lost, you have no respect. Oh, thanks. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> I didn't even play my last two games. Oh, oh no, actually, I, I did play my, my second to last one. And um, I, I bumped... Uh, Annie and lost him in one round of shooting. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sad about it. Pro tip. <laughs> yeah, pro, yeah. pro tip. Pro tip, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All the best tips from the tip takers. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Sorry, believe Aaron, people still rage quit anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's rage quit his last game. That's basically what he just refused to play. <laughs> then he only played like two and then just went, nah, it's not for me because I'm losing. And then just left. Yeah, that's yeah. basically what he did, yeah. Yeah, he cried off. That? Yeah. You? Darren. <laughs> oh, no, Darren. Yeah, Darren 100% did that. He lost two games and then was like, nah, I can't be arsed. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, in real life, he can cheat and, you know, move his dials a bit weird. But... <laughs> <laughs> like, hide him in his beard. Just pulls out another one. Like a suit. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, commiserations, Chris. Yes, you know, thanks for um, unlucky. Well done, uh, Nicholas. I know, yeah. Colin was playing with his world's dice there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah.